my shoulder and go out there ready to compete. What kind of challenge? Sorry, go ahead. How hard was it at the start when you were first asked to, to do that consistently at this level? Um, I mean, it, it's not so much as hard. It's just, you know, getting your feet under you, getting the experience. And then, you know, you're able to learn from them experiences. And, you know, it just helps you build your confidence. Because, uh, you know, you're out there by yourself. So, you, know, you got to have tough skin, next play mentality. <laughs> just be able to roll with the punches. When you look at Ohio State's receiving core and uh, JT, Oh, sorry, not, no, Dwayne Haskins is uh, accuracy. What kind of challenges that present to you? Um, you know, they're a very experienced group. Uh, Haskins is a good quarterback, accurate. So uh, we got to do what we do every week, but, you know, a little bit better this week. In terms of teams you've played this year, what do you think that, that group stacks up their offense? Receiver core? Yeah. Uh, they're up there probably the best. I mean, they got a lot of experience. Um, it's a lot of older guys. Um, they got some young guys that are, you know, capable. So you know, it's a lot of experience. For the most part, everybody's healthy. Uh, they got a good quarterback, so it's a pretty good group. You know, definitely one of the best we're gonna see. Yeah, how hard is it to keep your head on a swivel when you got a mobile guy that can break the pocket a little bit if you run him down and make coverage? I mean, do you not worry about that at all as a corner? You just lock in your receiver. And you uh, nah, that, in the back? yeah, that, that that's not my job. You know, once he gets in a, you know, past the line of scrimmage, then it's time to play football. You know, you got to go tackle him, get him down, but. Other than that, you know, I'm just, I got to stay locked in. I can't think about that. How much does it help to practice against Shea? Um, a lot, you know, he's a good quarterback. Um, so, yeah, you're going to get the same looks, the same type of style, and the same type of situations that you would get in those games. <clears throat> what do you remember about your last experience there? Um, rowdy environment. Uh, you know, it's a rivalry game, but it's much different than anything else that I've ever been a part of. You know, it's a culture, so. In what way is it different? Um, you know, I just, i never really been around like a hostile environment like that. Um, at least coming from the West Coast, you know, Robert games, I don't like that for real. But um, in the Midwest, it's a culture, I heard football's a culture. But I mean, over the last three years, I've bought into it, so, you know, we're eye to eye now. How are those games different? Um, just the fans, you know, out there rain, sleet or snow. And they're, they're wild, they're crazy, you know. The other games, you know, back home, might show up, might not show up. It's raining outside, too hot. But these fans are loyal. You know, they're going to be there, and that matters. Do people out back home, not, some people not realize what this is like when you tell them? Like, do they not understand it? Or is it hard for them to grasp a little bit? Um, you know, real football fans, you know, people that really pay attention. But even for me, it was a shock coming here and seeing it because that was all the football I knew, you know. I grew up in, I guess, you know, Pete Carroll here, so it was a, a lot going on. But outside of that, you don't get that much or that type of energy with a college football team back home. What is it about your guys' team that you think gives you guys the advantage heading into Columbus? I mean, it's just us, you know. We just got to keep the focus on us and just do what we know we can do, do what we've been doing these last, you know, 10, 11 weeks. I don't want to make the emphasis on them and say we have this and they don't. It's just about us. We got to do what we're asked to do, what we're coached to do, and you know the game's going to work out. How much did playing at uh, Michigan State earlier this year? How much did that prepare you for going to a raucous environment? Um, you know, it always prepares you. I've been in a fair share of rowdy environments. You know, Iowa my freshman year, Michigan State. So you just you got to know when you're going in, keep a level head, and you know, just kind of. Let that let the crowd go to white noise, you know, as you're playing. And, you know, you just think about the experience afterwards. But in the game, you just kind of can't let that really – can't buy into that. Who would you say has had the single most influence on you as a coach, fellow player, since you've been here? Um, at Michigan? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I can't pinpoint, you know, probably either – you know, Don Brown, Cozy, those are the people I see the most, talk with the most, and uh, interact with the most. But um, they've been a big, you know, influence on me and keeping me, you know, not not allowing me to get complacent, you know, keeping me my head on a swivel, keeping me keeping me hungry every week. So probably them too. Does this defense expect to have Chase Winovich on the field on Saturday? Uh, I can't comment on that. I'm not the.
famous there. <laughs> what did Coach Brown say to you after the Indiana game? Not your best game as a defense, probably. Um, you know, we just come in and fix everything like we do every week. You know, the biggest thing is getting a win. Um, you know, when you get that, it gives you gives you a platform to come in and you know a different mood when you're correcting things. You know, so the biggest thing is getting a win. And everything else, you know, will come in and correct and adjust as is. Thank you. Thank you.